Morning folks, welcome back to the channel. We are on another bit of an adventure today. Thankfully we're, uh, we're outdoors and we're, uh, we're exploring a bit which is, is nice. It's nice to be back outdoors. I do apologise for any wind noise that you might be picking up there. It's a bit, uh, a bit breezy where I am today. Uh, it might be a little bit hard to tell. But we are on the Long Mind uh, in Shropshire. Come out today with the intention of uh, photographing and videoing the uh, the wild ponies. Um, they sh they should be with foal now, so the hope is that we can uh, wander around until we find them, uh, not give them too much aggro, and and try and get some nice pictures and video. Um, I I did see I did see one pony as I was driving in, but whether I can get back uh, whether I can get back to where it was uh, is another story. So. We'll, uh, we'll have a wander around and we'll, we'll see what we can find. Well, it's a stunning day out here today. Uh, crystal clear skies. Probably not ideal for any kind of landscape photography, but uh, in terms of wildlife photography, we should be in for some, uh, for some good sights. So we'll, uh, we'll hit the trails and, uh, and we'll see what we can find. But uh, so far, so far, I feel very positive. So let's... Uh, Let's go and have a wander around and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can find. Well folks, we've just made our way around to the head of a valley. Um, we can see a small herd of horses with what looks to be a foal. Uh, it's particularly small if it's, if it's a normal pony, but uh, we're in a bad spot to try and photograph them here. So we're going to try and work our way around the valley and come at it from the other side. Um, and hopefully as we come up the valley, uh, we should be able to get some nice pictures on from, from looking, looking up the valley at them. Um, so that's the plan. Uh, <laughs> It's a tricky one, it's a tricky one, but we'll work around and we'll see what we can do. Um, I've already shot a little, bit of, uh, a little bit of footage and a little bit of video of some of, the, uh, some of the songbirds that are out here. There's so many meadow pipits, um, but they're so difficult to photograph, obviously. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll get some pictures going and we'll get some, uh, some footage going of the songbirds. And when I can confirm the ID, I'll throw that up on screen as well. I'm almost certain I photographed a stone chat, but I don't want to commit myself to that in case I'm wrong. So I think it's a stone chat, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll get it confirmed and then we'll, uh, we'll have that up on screen. Um, so yeah, I'll make my way around the valley now and we'll, uh, we'll see, if we can, uh, see if we can get some uh, photos and video of the, uh, of the wild ponies. Okay, guys, I'll bring you back in a few. We've just spotted a, a small herd of horses uh, and the ponies are just grazing at the top of the valley at the moment so uh, we've been shooting a little bit of picture and a little bit of video but we're going to uh, we're going to try and make our way uh, up, the, up, the, up towards the top of the valley a little bit now and uh, and see if we can get a little bit closer hopefully hopefully if we can avoid disturbing them we might get a few pictures of the uh, the little foal a bit closer up which would be nice but we'll uh, we'll carry up the carry on up the valley a bit and uh, and see what we can do.
So we're about uh, 25, 30 metres away from the, from the ponies now. Trying to keep our noise down so we don't bother them or frighten them off. But they're just lazing about on the grass, just snoozing. Uh, the foal's lying down in a bit of a in a bit of a depression that we we can't see over from where we are. But we're keeping an eye out. Surrounded by sheep on all the banks as well. And I do apologise for any wind noise that uh, that's coming through there. It's a bit breezy up here on the tops. We're going to uh, follow a different path now and try and cut round back onto the top of the long mind and see what we can see from up there. So I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when we find something. We've made our way up on up onto the top of the plateau now. The herds split into two groups. Um, they're sort of split in the path, so there's like one group on one side, one group on the other. But there's a foal in each, so assuming there must be family groups. I'm sorry about the exposure, by the way. The sun's right behind me. But I just thought I'd show you uh, one of my visitors. Bear with me. Just come to see what I was up to, I guess. I've just realised the state of my hair as well. Uh, <laughs> the old, uh, the lockdown haircut, I guess. Um, I'm gonna have to get it lopped off, I think, because it's, uh, it's driving me crazy now. But we are, we've just seen a couple of birds of prey floating about, so we're gonna uh, leave the horses be. Um, we've, had a, we've, had, we've spent a couple of hours with the ponies now, so we're gonna make our way back up across the top. And, uh, and see if we can find the, uh, the bird of prey that we were looking at just now. So uh, if that happens, I'll bring you back. Well, these ponies definitely don't seem to be bothered by our presence. <laughs> Less than 10 metres away. They're certainly not bothered about us. We just had a had another herd of horses come running through and, uh, and break up this herd that we were watching. I'm not really sure what it was all about, but uh, it was a bit exciting. You can just see the foal there in the background, look. Hold on. And we just followed this herd up the valley. And they're just uh, just chilling out on the top now. So when I said before that we were going to go and uh, have a wander over, Let's see if we could find the uh, bird of prey that we saw earlier. We haven't actually moved yet, <laughs> but we'll make our way over. See what we can find. Just as I was about to put the camera down and making some new friends. Again, a bit close to the uh, minimum focus distance on the 200 to 400 lens now, so 
I'm not even sure I'll be able to photograph them at this range. They're certainly keeping it interesting for us. Been a good morning out so far. So we're back at the car. It's been a, it's not actually been a long walk, but it's felt like it, um, with a bit of uh, with a bit of heather bashing and and uh, treacherous trails that we've followed. Um, but all in all, it's worked out quite well. We've had uh, a good day's photography there, and uh, that's certainly never a waste, is it? So, yeah, we're uh, just about done for the day. Um, got some nice pictures of the uh, wild horses a few songbirds that were uh, bouncing about in the heather and just generally a nice day out on the long mind. It's been blazing hot. Um, when we first set off it was quite chilly uh, but as we got moving it, uh, it soon warmed up. So uh, yeah, back in the car now, going to make my way home, go and find something to eat and drink. Um, but yeah, I hope you've, uh, hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, uh, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Um, it certainly always helps the uh, helps the videos and helps the channel. So I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. And if you like this kind of video and this kind of content, uh, be sure to uh, subscribe. Uh, and then you'll see whenever I re release new videos. So uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this one, guys. And thanks for following along. Um, and hopefully the next one will be just as interesting as this one was and not from the backyard. So. Yeah, we're going the right way, I think. We're going the right way, so let's uh, let's keep this rolling. So, uh, yeah, I'll sign off there, guys. Thanks for joining me, and I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Ta-ra,